I'm exposing my sister's lies and false SA allegations. I don't regret it. Ah. So, here we go. Another situation where a woman's willing to lie to ruin the man's life. So, go over the whole synopsis. This woman has been cheating on her husband or having an affair for the last eight months. She got found out and decided that she was going to say she was sexually assaulted and ruined this whole man's life. And that's not the worst part. The family and the mom were willing to agree with these terms, even though they knew she was lying. Like 100% willing to agree with her doing this. And then the gentleman exposed her for all of this, told him, told the other gentleman what's happened because he didn't know she was married and he left her immediately. Told the other gentleman what, ha what was happening, etc., etc., and his mom kicked him out the family because he said he ruined their their marriage and he needs to fix this. And it was all a misunderstanding. First off, shout out to you, young man, for uh, putting that out there and not letting that man's life be ruined. Like, that's good on you. But, but I also going to think I also think you need to talk to your dad. Because I'm pretty sure. After learning about this, you've gained a whole different perspective for him and maybe why he cheated. Not saying it's right, but maybe why he cheated. Because for my guesstimation, your mom is not a good person to even be willing to allow this and be okay with this. She's not a good person at all. Just what I see from it. But I'm going to get on the men about this. And, I'm gonna get, and what I'm going to get on about this is... Women are too comfortable with just lying and making stuff up about us in general. And, you know, as you can see, they're going to be believed regardless. And what we have to do is start voting. We have to start voting and lobbying for laws that will protect, protect us in these kind of situations. Because that's what I keep seeing as a reoccurring thing. And I'll be the first to admit I'm not a voter. It's never been my thing. I just... I have a different type of uh, ideology for it, but we definitely need to start voting for this stuff to take place because they're not getting repercussions for their actions. And this is like their go to when shit don't go their way. And we have to start voting so this doesn't happen because she was willing to ruin this whole man's life over some decisions she's made. And it's wild and. Even the fact that she was going to attempt to do this, what could be done? I mean, yeah, I think you could probably get her fired from her job if you proved it, but I'm not even sure about that. And what's amiss and what I'm gathering is that we just don't have laws in, play, in place to protect us from women who make up stories about us. And the only way we can get laws and stuff like that is voting. And I'm not just saying vote for the president. I mean, vote for our local mayor, our governor, our sheriff, and all the other shit you can vote for. So that's the conclusion I've come to. That's the conclusion I draw. I'm not a politician, but that's what it seems like it got to be. We, we're going to have to vote and get things in order in place so stuff like this don't happen. But shout out to you, young man, for protecting that other dude.